Hey, what's up my little child How are y'all doing? Well, if you are Kanye West, baby, it looks like you got your way with Kimberly Noel Kardashian. Or did you get your way a little bit too much? Yes, y'all, we got a double straw this one. Y'all, Kanye West literally posted some really cute TikToks about North and Saint at the Donda Academy. Now, you know he was having a public argument with Miss Kimberly Noel, right? his first favorite and only baby mama, right? Soon, I mean, I guess, right, X? And we all know that was so contentious, y'all. But is Kim really having her way? Because guess what? Kanye literally just dropped a trailer on Good Morning America where it looks like he is apologizing for everything he's done to Kim and doing all this stuff. Y'all, I'm gonna play that for y'all in a second, but we seriously have to ask this, right? Think about it. Remember Nas on, on one mic where she he said should have known she wasn't true. Came to me on uh, came to me when her man called a sentence. Okay, I'm messing up the line. Here's my whole point of this. Right? Does anybody find it odd, coincidentally, that Kim is literally playing nice with Kanye now, having him go on a double dates with Tracy Romulus, letting the kids go to down the academy, right? Doing all this mess after one. Pete said he ain't wanting her anymore. And I get it. Kanye is in love with Kim. I know it makes everybody so mad, but let's just call the thing a thing. He loves that woman. That woman, he literally made a bound to video where he compared her to some of the most beautiful. She was what, the eighth wonder of the world? This is, she makes pretty kids with them. She definitely is his muse, right? She inspires him, right? Now we can argue he she we she inspired him to be corny when it came to music, but that's a conversation for a different day. Kanye loves Kim, and he made it more than evident that he would get back with Kim if she gave him the chance. But Kim was too busy relaxing, maxing, chilling all cool out beside the pool with Kim with Pete's BDE and his DTF. Pete's out the picture. And even then, Pete, uh, Kim was like, I don't care. It's still never going to be you, Kanye, right? But get this, what changed? Ray J changed the game. Ray J popped up. Ray J exposed Kim and Chris, popped up. He also exposed Kanye West. And isn't it funny? Now that Kim needs protection more than ever, Kanye is back to dressing her. We know because she showed up with a half decent ad, uh, outfit. There's rumors that he wants to design her Malibu house. And he's on Good Morning America sounding like he's about to take a bullet for her. Yo, listen, I know I said crunchy sock. Pete played, treated Kim Kardashian like Kim Kardashian, but it looks like Kim Kardashian is still pulling a Kim Kardashian on Kanye West. Literally, if he says what people are expecting him to say on Good Morning America, I'm just gonna sit here and say, she put a spell on you. Yo, roots, turnips, berries, nuts. She's literally sitting there with uh, Chris Jenner over a cauldron going, a shabarara, shabarara. literally Santeria, voodoo, hoodoo, hex, whatever you want, baby. I'm just saying. Now first, let's get into this clip that has everybody going a little crazy because honestly, and I'm going to tell you, Kim, well, I don't know about her little plot, but again, like I said before, Kanye is always happy to play Captain save a for Kim. Because think about it, right? And I talked about this before. If you believe people said, listen, Kim is fine to use Kanye for his connections, his resources, his whatever. We know that about Kim. The one thing that nobody really wants to admit, if this interview turns out to be what it is and not clickbait, so yes, I am talking mess. Kanye enjoys being Captain save a to Kim. He enjoys throwing her under the cloak of protection. He enjoys her turning back into his little Barbie doll that he can control. Why did they fall apart the first time? Kim said she was sick of Kanye controlling her, her life. Now granted, she put 20 on 10, trying to make it seem like she was like playing, like sleeping with the enemy and not without my child escaping with her life. I get that. However, Kim and Kanye were always comfortable with that arrangement. Kanye wants a Barbie doll he can control. Kim was happy to play that Barbie doll. Now let's also forget, well, you know what? Let me play this clip for y'all. Because again, 
And she about to play him again. Cause don't forget, Kim has that private equity deal coming up. She's about to jump into serious money. Now I know Kanye saw that and he was like, damn, she pretty got a big butt. Well, I guess she don't got a big butt anymore, but she about to get money. Kanye's super, super proud. Let's play this clip. And then we gonna get into um, all that other stuff. Where are we? Hold on, let's see. Again, last time Kanye went on Good Morning America, was about the Taylor Swift energy, uh, um, Taylor Swift interview. Shout out to Hadi, Mixtape the Capo on Instagram. Make sure you go and follow him. He be coming with receipts. But I will say this, right? Last time he went online uh, for a Good Morning America interview was with the Taylor Swift debacle. It has not escaped my attention that he's actually doing this. And this is dropping the same day, I believe, Keeping Up With The Kardashians premieres on Hulu. Is it? Yeah, tomorrow, Thursday, September 22nd. It, that is the premiere. Y'all, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Hold on, let me cue this up for y'all real quick. Mother of my children, and I apologize for any stress that I have caused. Good morning, America, tomorrow. I'm curious, what is Ye like as a dad? Ye, exclusive. What does he want you to know him? This one thing get me in trouble. <laughs> Now, they also said you can stream it on Hulu. Now, consider this, right? Because we need to talk about it. Okay. Kim just did a Good Morning America interview too. We cannot deny the fact that they are literally timing things. With, they're working as one with the Yeezy sun photos, the sunglasses photos. They're working as one when it comes to interviews with Good Morning America. They're working as one for a coordinated press release for keeping up with the Kardashians. They are, they have to be. Even Kanye doing this thing, apologizing. Now, here's the thing that nobody's ever thought about, or maybe y'all have, and we just wanna talk about this. You know, it's, it's Kim gonna be Kanye's downfall. Because again, I know they're going for mainstream America, but I know in my community, at least I say, it's done. Like, Ray J already said too much and did too much. Ray J said that Kanye was blackballing him from the music industry, right? Ray J said Kanye, he explained everything to Kanye. And Kanye knew that for what Ray J saying was true, that everything was BS and he still went and he still recorded um, that, uh, that um, uh, episode of keeping up with the Kardashians on Hulu, what do they call it, the Kardashians? And then you went on a rant and you let us believe that was true, but then you went on the rant when Kim wouldn't do what you wanted and literally said, I'm not gonna let my kids turn out like Kris Jenner did to you, ah, 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 ah. literally leading me to believe that what Ray J said was true. Now, again, I know Ye got his fans, right? And you know, I know I like to play devil's advocate, but do you have enough clout and power that you're gonna make everybody forget about what Ray J said? that you're going to erase remember how as a birthday gift to kim well not birthday gift but as a gift to kim he said that like it stops with him everybody uses her for money everybody uses for this and that but not him he ended the cycle and kim broke down crying again this is dynamic the kim fans are going to be mad and the kanye fans are going to be mad but they are once again working as a unit now are they going to get back together i don't know to me it looks like Kim is offering Kanye the Scott deal. Remember how Courtney was with Scott? Had him around, family functions, your family forever, are they together all day night until she met Travis. And then she was like, get out of here, Scott. And Scott was off in the world lost. I think she's offering the same deal that Scott had. Family dinners, you know, the family bed, all that stuff. And Kanye's happy to do it because again, Kim seems to be his kryptonite. I know both fans gonna be bad, but we have to talk about uh, this being a thing. Now, if the interview comes out and it's something completely different, okay, I'll retract this video. I mean, I ain't retracted anything. I'll make a new video, right? Explaining what it is, but y'all, I don't know. I don't know for Kim and Kanye. They both look like they're playing games. And Kim did say, well, at least her camp, it was said in one source, said that they, she is in no rush, no rush at all to get a divorce now. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Again, 
Let's not forget that every time Kanye claims somebody serious, she tries to be nice to him, except for the Julia Fox. But that's why Skeet was around. I don't know, y'all. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will talk to you later. Bye.